Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a question. It's a good question. I think we may have covered this before, but we'll do it again from uh, somebody called Minka. And it's asking, I would love to hover from a colored picture to a gray one, but without also changing my text to gray. Is that possible? Well, yeah, sure is. And it's really easy to do. So what I've done, I've got three examples right here. It's just a regular image. As you can see, we've got that one going to grayscale. Here's a blurb with an image. And as you can see, it's not changing our text when we go over there. And here's just a reg regular text block with an image inserted into it. And as you can see, it's going grayscale and we're not changing any of the writing at all there. This is really easy to do. So let's get started and show you how to do it. There's nothing to it. Divi makes it really easy. If you followed my tutorials before, you know that I've built hundreds of sites literally with the Divi theme. It just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and easier and easier to use. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. If you're making any sort of WordPress website at all I would suggest you check it out it's it really is that good so let's get started I'm in the theme right here obviously and I've got a page going I've just created this let's go in there enable the visual builder which will let us build it on the front end and once Divi's visual builder is loaded go down to where we want to edit I'm just going to get rid of this section we'll start again All right, let's put it between these two. I'm going to hit the blue dot for a new section. I'm going to call it a regular section. I'm going to give it three columns in our row. In the first one, I'll just put a regular image. All these gray blocks come as default with Divi. Got plenty to build, all kinds of different sites right out of the box. Put an image in here, I'll use the same one. It's got a fair bit of color to it, this one. Okay, so that's just a regular image. Next column, I'm gonna put a blurb module in there and give it an image in the top as well. So if I scroll down to image and icon, I'll use the same image for all of these. And next one, I'll just make a regular text module. And Inside, I'll put it on the visual tab. Inside, I'll just add an image. To add media, we'll use that same image yet again. Now let's just centralize this. Okay, so we've got three modules there. We've got a regular image module, we've got a blurb module, and we've just got a text module with an image added. And as you can see, nothing happens when we we hover over them we have got the builder engaged now but believe me nothing happens when you hover over these they're just regular images and we want to change them to grayscale now Divi makes that really really easy certainly with these two and we'll use just a little bit of custom CSS to do it on this one so firstly let's take our image hit the little cog to edit it let's go down to design down to filters and if we look at the filters, we've got saturation here. If you hover over the word saturation and hit the little arrow, it'll give you two little buttons, one for default state and one for the hover state. Let's click on the hover state and take the saturation all the way down to zero. And as you can see, it's gone to grayscale. Let's just save that. Now you can't see, it won't really do it while we've got the builder engaged. I could quit the builder and show you now but let's go ahead and do these other two right here and then we'll quit and and show you so as far as I'm concerned that one's done we'll move over to our blurb image here again hit the cog let's go over to our design tab just so you can see properly what I want to do is go to the image and icon because you've got a choice between an image and icon we've got an image and we want to scroll down a bit and again we're going to find those filters here they are image saturation again go over to the arrow 
click on the hover box and take it down. Of course you can do this with all of these items here and actually most of the, the design features here you can have things on and off. I don't think you can with box shadow but most of it you can change on a hover state. So let's save that one. We're happy with that one. Now this one gets a little more complicated because we've got an image within this text module. There's no actual filter that we can apply to just that image. If we do it via the filters here, it's going to change everything. It's going to change the uh, writing as well when we hover over it because it will change everything in the module. So what we'll do, we'll go to our advanced tab, we'll go to CSS IDs and classes and we'll give it a class name. I'll give it the class name of text image. Let's call it TIM for short text image. So we've given it a name that we can actually adjust there. Save our changes. Now if we look at our I could do it with the Chrome inspector but we'll do it with this. If we look at this and hit on the text tab we've now called this whole block Tim TIM for text image and if we look at our little image itself here it is IMG source there it is so we've got a target target to Tim TIM and IMG to make this do what we want it to do so let's save that we know it's called Tim the module and the actual image itself has got a class of IMG. So let's go down to our purple button at the bottom and you can either put it here in the page CSS or if you're going to be using this on multiple pages go to your dashboard down to Divi options and put it in the custom the CSS down there or in the theme customizer CSS and I'll show you where they are in a minute. So I'm just hitting the page settings purple button little cog right here will give us our page settings We'll go to the custom CSS and inside we gave that a class of Tim, T-I-M, so class, dot or period always, text image, T-I-M. And then we want to target the image itself within there, not the whole module, T-I-M, just the image. So I'm going to put image. I'm going to open, close some curly brackets and I'll put this little bit of CSS code down below the video so you don't have to copy it while I'm doing it here. Now in between our curly brackets, we want to write filter colon grayscale and we want to open and close some round brackets and give it the amount of grayscale we want which is 100%. 100% there we are and put a little semicolon afterwards in case we want to add some more lines of code. And as you can see, it's made that grayscale. This is the code that's doing the grayscale on the others. It's just you don't need to put it in because they've built a filter in there for you. So like I say, I'll, I'll put this down below. Let me just copy it and paste it so I remember that. Save that. Now, if we go over and save our changes on the little green button down at the bottom right hand side here and exit the visual builder when we get the check mark and let's go down hello okay <laughs> I've got a little problem there I'll adjust that in a minute if we hover over this one you get a grayscale picture if you hover over this one you get a grayscale picture and if you hover over this one you get nothing because I did it wrong and I'll show you where I went wrong um, let's enable our visual builder and I forgot to give it a hover state when I was writing, simple as that. Okay, let's get our page CSS again, right here. What I forgot to do is, that's the actual module, that's the image, and we've just told it to be like that all the time. What I needed to do was put a colon, no space after the G of image, colon, no space after the colon, write the word hover, there we go. Save that. Now let's save, exit again. This time it should work correctly. Here we go. That's better.
grayscale, grayscale, grayscale. There we go. Easy as that. And what I was talking about, about if you're using this particular module on different pages and you still want this effect on it, you want to put your CSS in the theme customizer or in the Divi options. So we can go to theme customizer we got right here. And when it loads, go down the additional CSS tab. And you can put it in here and it'll be site wise. The other option, if we just get out of here, is to go to the dashboard, go down to Divi, to theme options. On the general tab, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can put your custom CSS in here. It's the same as the one in the customizer. As you can see, it's got that same bit of code there. Just put your code in here and it'll be work on every page on the site rather on than on just the page we were working on, which is the way we did it before. So there you have it. There's three ways of adding an image and grayscale hover effect using the Divi theme. I hope that's answered your question. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.